Tape. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the epic history of Luke, the legend Combs. I'm excited to look to learn a little bit more about Luke Combs history, but before we do, y'all know I need y'all to smash that subscribe button, ring notification bell, hit the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? Luke Albert Combs was born March 2nd, 1990 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Luke hey. and his family would then relocate Charlotte, North Carolina, Charlotte Hornets, I like them. <laughs> 1990 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Luke and his family would then relocate to the city of Asheville, North Carolina when he was just eight years old. Luke started to sing as soon as he could talk. So who was Combs exactly singing along to and who had influenced him so early on? Luke mentioned in an interview behind the curtain at the 2018 ACM Awards to country radio station WYRK, Vince Gill was what I started singing to. He included several other 90s country artists and went on to say, Brooks and Dunn and Clint Black. That was my favorite stuff to sing when I was little, burning up the cassette tapes. I don't know if I've reacted to any Clint Black songs. I don't know if I've heard Clint Black, Brooks and Dunn, phenomenal. Vince Gill, incredible. So those are some incredible people to know what I'm saying, look up to while, while trying to get in that music land. Interesting enough, Luke Combs actually stopped listening to country music near the time of the move to Asheville. Oh. And says, my parents, for whatever reason, stopped listening to country music when I was eight. What? Combs would go on without listening to country for almost 10 whole years God. and listening more to stuff like the legendary 90s grunge rock band Nirvana. Combs attended high school at A.C. Reynolds and he would stay active in music and would perform with the local acts. Luke would then go on to college attending Appalachian State University and as a freshman in college is where he would be reintroduced to country music. Luke Combs's friend reintroduced him to country music when Eric Church was playing a show on campus. Luke's friend had to talk him into going, and Combs has admitted to not putting much stock into Church's music on the day of the show. But at the 52nd annual CMA Awards show, he had this to say to reporters about how he changed his feelings towards the Chiefs' music. I didn't give his music a chance that day, to be honest with you. A couple of weeks later, I'd had a few at the time, illegal beverages, now illegal beverages, and said, you know what, I'm going to give this guy's album a shot. I listened to it front to back, and it really changed my outlook and changed a lot of things for me about country music. This would be a defining moment for Combs. That's so dope, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, sometimes when you go in with that mindset of I'm not going to like this, you find every reason possible to not like it. So I like going into things with like an open mind. You know, even if I'm dragged into it, I like like let me open my mind up, give this an actual chance, no negativity, no positivity, just neutral, and see what happens. And I feel like that's where you can determine if it's really good or not. Oh, you go into it thinking, hey, like I'm gonna enjoy myself. Like you, you'll find every reason to like it. And I'm actually more of that guy. I'm more of going to, I'm sure I can find something I like about this and I'll find things to like. Uh, and But but yeah, when you go into a closed-minded, you're getting being forced to go somewhere, you're being dragged into it, you don't want to be there. Of course, you're not open-minded. You're going to find every reason like, ah, this isn't that good. Uh, I don't know why you brought me here. A couple weeks, my guy was more open-minded, listening to the album, changed his life. You feel me? Uh, and I know Eric Church also was a big inspiration on with Morgan Wallen, bro. This is dope. Things for me about country music. This would be a defining moment for Combs, and it would spark his desire to be a country music star and not the police detective that Combs originally wanted to be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you send Luke Combs to country music. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's insane is Luke didn't even touch a guitar until the age of 21 where he went on to play live shows throughout the town of Boone, North Carolina at some of the same bars that Eric Church would play during his start. Combs would then release independent EPs titled The Way She Rides and Can I Get an Outlaw. 
Next up would be the release of his I might have to go listen to those EPs. hit single Hurricane, which almost Ooh. never happened and had the potential of shattering his music career. That was fire. He produced Hurricane. a six song EP at the same time, but it only saved $200 for the whole project. Combs told Rolling Stone Country, we recorded six tracks, and when they got done, Moffat was like, hey man, we need to master these, and I was like, what's that? I think the price was $200 per song, so I was like, I don't have $200 per song, and I'm not going to have it. Combs <laughs> left up in arms and started listening to the tracks that they had recorded. With it being $200 per song, Combs wisely chose Hurricane to be mastered and sent it to iTunes as the single. I'm pretty sure Incredible choice, Luke. Incredible choice. That decision has paid off well for Combs' yeah. career. Yeah. He has been skyrocketing ever since with his first five singles, Beautiful Crazy, When It Rains It Pours, mm. One Number Away, mm. Hurricane, and mm. She Got the Best of Me, going oh, number amazing. one on the country airplay charts. Combs also had his two singles, Beautiful Crazy, and She Got the Best of Me, going number one at the same time on country hey. airplay charts, which has not been achieved by an artist since 2000, and that was hey. Tim McGraw. Not to mention, Combs has recently held number one on all five of country charts at the same time to include country albums, hot country songs, country airplay, country streaming songs, and country digital song sales. Jeez. Combs has had crazy success, but has there ever been any drama or little speed bumps mm. along the way? I well, had to be. I had to be. 2017, Luke Combs was detained by TSA in handcuffs at the oh. Nashville International Airport while on his way to the ACM Awards. Combs would be detained for leaving a gun in his book bag, but everything would check out and he okay. would still make it in time for the red carpet at the 2017 ACMs. Nice. 2017 was also around the time he was feuding with Wheeler Walker Jr. The two, however, reconciled their differences on Wheeler Walker's podcast and agreed they liked what each other were doing in the business. Cool. I'm sure there is plenty more to come from Combs and fans cannot wait for his second full-length album to be released. His headlining tour, Beer Never Broke My Heart, is giving fans the chance to hear new music, like his banger, Beer Never Broke My Heart, yeah, or the honky-tonk jam of One Too Many, and the ballad, Dear Today. The history of Luke Combs, I mean, it's, it's crazy to think what has happened so far, and for all of it to have started when he was 21. If Luke Combs keeps on crazy. this path, I think it's safe to say that the man is on his way to be pretty legendary. Well, that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom for updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country. You hear? And that's why I call him Luke the Legend Combs because Mance is absolutely legendary. Uh, Luke is a phenomenal country artist. And uh, I'm so excited that he did choose music and he did go down that path because... Uh, It'd be an injustice to, to, to not have Luke Combs' career in country music, in music, period. But that's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, Dinia. Out.